I found this silver plated tray from a local yard sale and I'm going to start by cleaning it with uh, Dawn dish soap and a sponge and then I'm going to take a little brush and I'm going to go around and really get the all those crevices in the detail. I'm going to rinse it. I'm going to do the same to the back. I'm going to rinse it really good and then I'm going to lay it on a towel upside down to dry. Now I'm going to use chalked spray paint. You can get this at most True Values, uh, most uh, Home Depots. And the key with spraying outside is first of all you want to wear a mask and secondly you want to do thin passes. You want to go in one direction and then the other and this did require two coats. Once completely dry, today we're going to be using Summer Bird by Roy Cycle Tissue Paper. You can find this at chalkitupfancy.com. It's just a beautiful paper. It has some uh, French lettering in the back. It has this bird with the crown and I love the uh, dark char charcoal background uh, and the white flowers. It's very romantic and I felt like it fit my um, tray perfectly. I laid the tissue paper down and just made the creases of where the circle was and took a pair of scissors and just cut it out so that it fit pretty close to the interior of my tray. Now I'm using my two inch angled premium brush by Wise Owl and my one hour enamel. And I'm gonna do this in sections. First the right half and then the left half and then just lay my paper down. And you wanna maybe just swipe your hand across gently. And all these products you can find at chalkitupfancy.com. Now this is important, you wanna grab some saran wrap and a brayer, which is just like a little rolling pin that you can get at most craft stores. Mine I grabbed from Michaels. And using your saran wrap as a barrier, you're going to go around and roll the wet tissue paper. This is going to remove any bubbles and wrinkles. And it also is just making sure that your tissue paper is um, has made contact with your tray in every location. So you, once it's dry, you don't have any bubbles in your paper. And I just keep rolling until I feel like all the wrinkles that I feel like I can get out and bubbles are laid down. Now I'm going to go in with my final top coat of one hour enamel. You want to get this on. You don't want to overwork your product because you are dealing with wet paper. You don't want to start lifting the paper. So you just want to get it on and allow it to dry. This is going to take more than an hour just because it's paper involved, but usually in a few hours it's good to go. So I found these little stickers. They're almost like a little silver half bead and they kind of come in a strand. And I get these at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Most craft stores have them, but um, I always, you know, sift through all the stickers at Dollar Tree because this is where I found mine. And I'm just putting this little, um, the string of these silver beads around the edge where the edge and the paper meet. And it's just going to soften where I cut and the place that maybe didn't fit perfectly, it's just gonna kinda pull everything together. Again, you can get these in pearls, which would be really pretty. I did need six strips. So I believe that was two packs to go all the way around. Once done, I'm going to do the one hour enamel around the um, exposed tray rim 
and I'm just hitting the angle into those that beaded area hoping a little bit seeps down there to give it some extra glue adhesive not that we're really going to need it but I just wanted to um, top coat my rim and now we're going to go ahead in with some epoxy you can pick this up um, at most hardware stores it's called pour on and we're going to use both parts the full bottle of the A and the full bottle of the B and we're just using a measuring a plastic measuring cup to do this in you are going to have to throw out pretty much whatever you use to pour your epoxy in so these are just cheap little measuring cups that we pick up the Dollar Tree or whatnot so you're going to stir for about three minutes and don't forget your mask and then we're just going to start by pouring in the center and then just gently around the edge and then allowing that epoxy to just fill up that tray and it did cover the silver beads and now we're taking a heated blow dryer or heat gun a heat gun is better because a blow dryer will move your epoxy and this is 24 hours later it's fully hardened and I'm very pleased with the outcome and the heat gun just kind of removes any bubbles so now that everything's dry I'm going to take some smoky quartz and some baby wipes some of you know where I'm going with this I'm going to use a small round art brush and using maybe a little spray of water here and there or you can wet your brush I'm applying the smoky quartz in the detail sometimes you've seen me do with this with black or brown I thought the uh, the soft gray would kind of be a little bit softer for what I'm um, for for my project here I think it just was a little softer it kind of went with what I'm doing here and I'm just going to go around the tray adding the smoky quartz taking my baby wipe you want it pretty much flat the baby wipe you don't want it all crimpled up or it's going to take it right out of all those crevices you want to lay it flat and wipe it across to pull back the paint and it's going to just leave it in the grooves and the crevices and just give it you know that vintage look but mostly it's just bringing out all the detail when everything's just white you really can't see what it is um, and just this little extra detail in the crevices just makes you see that it's you know flowing grapes and it's just a really nice look it just brings your project up another notch and it's really simple to do it's basically a form of glazing without using glaze I'm just using paint and I'm just going to continue to go all the way around my tray with this smoky quartz applying it wiping it back with a baby wipe and then allowing it to dry now I did not show this on this video but once it's dry you're going to want to do another coat of the one hour enamel as your top coat around that rim area you're not going to want to get it on your epoxy but around that rim area just as a top coat or you could use your salve as well that's another option if you wanted something just quick and there you go I really hope you enjoyed this video for other tutorials go check us out on YouTube you can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com for any paint products, tissue paper, transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.